This is Tim Apatel with Think Tech Hawaii. What's on your mind, Hawaii? I'm here with Steve. And Steve, you, uh, you got the text about the incoming ballistic missiles and, most importantly, that this was not a drill. I sure did. What was your first thought? Very frightening, traumatized, scared. Didn't know if, if I was going to die this second or die in the next five minutes. Didn't know what my, if my family would ever find out, how would they feel about it. It was very, very traumatizing. Were you upset? Were you upset now that you found out that, according to the emergency management, that one person with one button caused this kind of panic? Oh, I was beyond upset. I'm freaking angry, furious, to know that this, this ain't a joke. I mean, this is messing around with people's lives. I mean, from what I saw out on the streets, it was a pure chaos, confusion. It was... Everyone was running, scared out their mind, looking in the air. Where specifically were you when you saw this text message? Uh, I was right across the street from the Alamona Mall. And I've seen just a, people speeding, running red lights. Everyone was running. Security didn't know what to do. Everyone was just total confusion. What you're describing is a Hollywood movie set. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. It, it seemed like I was. We were, we were in a movie, watching a movie, but this was real life in Hawaii. Well, now that you know that it was an error and allegedly one person with one button caused this, do you buy that? No, I don't. And, you know, me living in Hawaii as a citizen, I want answers. You know, this is not funny, you know, to, to, to wake up, to hear this, to come downstairs, to look out of your window. And you see it was a state of confusion, a panic, people running, scared, didn't know what to do. No one had answers. And then I turn on the news. And I hear that same emergency broadcast, this is not a drill, this is not a drill, please seek shelter. And I'm like, I live on the 11th floor, is this shelter? Or is this building going to get knocked down, you know, when the missile hit? I want answers. I, I'm angry, I'm upset, and it, it was very traumatizing. And, and it's, it's, it's something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Who do you think is ultimately responsible for this mess up? The person who hit that button. I think they should be fired. I think they should, they think the community should they should owe the community apology as well as we want answers how could this happen why did it happen and it took what 15 20 minutes just to say that this was a test like 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 someone's laughing in our face this, this ain't a joke this ain't a joke this is i mean you know what i mean people i mean i got high blood pressure you know this just raised my blood pressure i'm <laughs> no well it woke me up so uh i went from zero to 100 in about five seconds um let me ask you this what was your immediate thoughts? Did you try to get on the phone to call people, or I, I did, and, and it was so many people probably using the transit. I mean, the the phone system. I couldn't I couldn't dial out. The phone was busy. People couldn't call me. It was busy. I didn't know what to do. I didn't I didn't know what to do. Where to go? What's safe? What's not? You know, what's not safe? Do I go up on the 11th floor and the building hit? The missile hit and knocked down the building, and now I'm dead in the building. I mean, I looked up in the sky. I seen these uh, Amer oh, I said um, like American, you know, airline. I knew they thought something was wrong because they were in full speed. They were trying to hurry me get off that island. <laughs> I saw plane after plane after plane. And gradually, you know, when they go up in the air, they go slowly. But this was, you would have thought it was an F F-14 <laughs> jet. <laughs> you saw planes taking off one after another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they were moving fast. They were moving fast. I mean, they probably told people to hold on, buckle up, because we out of here. <laughs> and they left. <laughs> Does this affect how you f feel about the state? Any uh, do you feel do you feel confident and secure in the state after this? Uh, not really. Uh, my um, uh, my sons already told me that that I, I need to leave, <laughs> leave it right away. He said maybe this is a, a warning that you're safe now, but what about if it happens happens tomorrow or next week? Are you going to think that this is a? Are you really going to think that this is a? Is this an, another false a false report or is it serious? Was he thinking in the context of a ballistic missile from North Korea? Yeah, from North Korea. You know, you, you just didn't know. It just kept telling you, seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. So when you're hearing this, and I've never heard this before, you're thinking, well, you, 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 I don't know if I have five minutes. I don't, have, I don't know if I have ten minutes. What do you do? It, it looked like I was, this was a movie. And I was part of it because I was in it. But I saw it. Well, we all did, and um, I think I've gotten a lot of different responses for a lot of different people. Uh, what would be your message to the governor of this state? Because ultimately, I hate to say it, but it is a state agency that, that did this in error, 
and the governor is actually in charge of the state. So what would you say to the governor? I would say, I would say don't let this happen again. Give us some answers and hold the person who, whoever pushed that button accountable because this is not a joke. This is serious. And, and this ha have affected many people's lives from what I saw of people running in the street. Do you think it's possible that one person could have that kind of control? Don't you think there's a dual control on something this serious and this, um, you know, with that kind of weight of, of intensity? Yeah, I think many people um, is involved. And I don't, I think everyone who was involved should be held accountable to make sure that this doesn't happen again because the next time this happens again, you don't know if it's a false, a false drill. You, you know, you're wondering, oh, I'm not worried about it. You know, the other day it happened. This is probably a false drill, and it might be the real drill. You know, I, I, I don't think that this should have ever happened. I think everyone should be held accountable um, all the way up from the bottom, all the way going up to, you know, to the top. Give us some answers and make sure that this don't ever, and I do mean ever, happen again. There you heard it from Steve, a resident of Waikiki, Honolulu. And um, if Governor, if you're listening, I think he just gave you a message. And this is Tim Apicella, Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha.